Hello, BookTube. I'm Peg, the Book Prize Addict, here again to talk about another book prize today. But first, I just want to remind everybody, if you like book prizes, the big one's coming out tomorrow morning. Uh, the Women's Fiction Prize long list is coming out quite early here in the U.S., actually. And I've been having a great time reading all the different booktubers that have uh, prognosticated what they think is going to be on it or hope and going through them. And I've also done this crazy thing. I've checked out a huge amount of books from the library that I think might be on the list. Plus, my library uh, has a lot of books, uh, e-copies, so I've you can check up 20 there. So I've tried to check out just about everything that I think might be on the list, and then it'll be fun tomorrow uh, to see what I have, if how many of them I have. Of course, I'll be back to talk about it. Actually, it's okay. It's free. I'm not buying them yet. Okay, today I'm going to talk about the Staunch Book Prize, which is really an unusual one. It's an international prize for thrillers, but they have a special um, rule in them that there can be no woman beaten, stalked, sexually exploited, raped, or murdered in these books that win the prize. Uh, they talk about that to draw attention to the plethora of violence that we find in many of the thrillers of today. Uh, there had been some, it's been going on for four years, they had some protests, but they they said, you know, other people can write whatever they want. We're just giving the prize to this particular characteristic. Okay, I'm going to just go through a, a few of them. Uh, they also try to have not just normal books that don't have violence to women, but they have um, try to have books that ha have something to do with uh, what's going on today, have some idea and not not just plain uh, thrillers. So, okay, let me show you now. Why is this not working? Okay, first one I'm going to talk about is The Coldest Warrior. It's a spy novel, uh, part of a series, but of course you don't have to read all the series. And uh, I, I'm really a fan of, I can't believe that's, I can't believe my phone is ringing and nobody is here but me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> back. I need to, I need to figure out how to take time, how to cut that part out of it. Anyway, the next one I'm sure you might have heard of in a different capacity than a mystery is Otessa Mosfeg's Death in Her Hands. Now, she's a fairly unusual writer. She's written a book called Eileen and um, My Year of Living, of Relaxing and Resting, which were both very strange books. And this one, I think, is also, uh, it's interesting they picked it. Um, anyway, it starts out with an uh, older lady who goes walking with her dog. She lives alone, and she finds this um, note in the woods somewhere about a dead body. And uh, the dead body's not there, but it's a very realistic note. And she sets out hunting for this, not only the body, but who did it? Uh, again, very unusual, but good and different. I would say it was almost definitely literary fiction. Okay, and last, we have the winner, Heaven My Home by Attica Locke, who has um, written many, uh, many books, many award-winning books about her Texas and things that go on down there. Uh, she's now in a uh, series with a Texas Ranger, a black Texas Ranger, and uh, about him. And in this one, he's looking for a a lost boy who's in a family of white, uh, what do you call them, white supremacists, supremacist. And the boys miss their boys missing, and he's very unsure what what's happened. And as he looks for him, he realizes there's more problems than just that. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about the women's prize. Bye.